My name is James Alberry, and I'm the manager of the Kika Silva Paw Planetarium here at Santa Fe College. The planetarium got its name uh, thanks to donations that were given to us to complete the planetarium. Dr. Sally Hoffman, one of our astronomy professors here at Santa Fe College, she and Dr. Howard Cohen originally presented the University of Florida with the idea of having a planetarium here in Gainesville, because most people, when they wanted to visit a planetarium, they had to go all the way to Orlando or Jacksonville. So when they presented it to the University of Florida, there was a lot of trouble getting funding and they weren't able to get the support they really needed. So in 1997, when Santa Fe College was awarded funds to build the Natural Sciences Building, Dr. Hoffman said, you know, this might be our only opportunity to get a planetarium in Gainesville. So she drew one into the plan and the faculty liked it, the administration of the college liked it, and the Board of Trustees liked it. So they said, okay, let's go ahead and build a planetarium. Well, unfortunately, the educational grant we'd applied for to buy all the stuff for the planetarium to make it functional that fell through. So this building sat empty for about five years. Then John Pla and his wife, Amy Howard, they donated funds to have the planetarium completed and Congressman Cliff Stearns was able to get educational appropriation for us as well. So, but rather than naming it John Pla Planetarium, he insisted we name it after his mom and her name is Kika Silva Pla. That's how the planetarium got its name. And the purple color is actually uh, from Dr. Hoffman. Uh, her favorite color was purple, so she ordered purple carpeting and purple upholstery. Uh, and I wear a purple shirt in Sally's memory. We have a variety of shows for various topics. So we can talk about not only astronomy in the night sky, we also have uh, other full dome science shows that don't use this projector, but they use our other projector, and we can see programs that are produced by other planetariums, uh, such as We Are Stars. We can also see programs about ancient cultures like Tales of the Maya Skies, which talk about Maya art history and astronomy and how they use their knowledge of the stars to help strengthen their culture. Whenever there's an eclipse, we have a special show called Eclipse where we talk about the moon and various formation models of the moon. Uh, we can also have the entertainment shows. <sighs> My favorite show, I like Florida Skies because it gives me an opportunity to engage with the audience because it's a live presentation. So I use this projector exclusively during that show and I point out the constellations and I tell stories about different star patterns. It's a lot of fun because I like to share my love of the sky with everyone. I used to co-host the TV show Stargazers on PBS. Dean Regas and I, we were asked to be guest hosts of the show, and we hosted the show together for nine years. I started my own YouTube channel where I do basically the same thing. It's called The Sky Above Us. Yep, yeah, yeah I've, it's, uh, yeah, I've been, I've been blessed to have resources to be able to do something like this because 20 years ago, we couldn't have done anything. What makes me passionate about it? I think when I was about 13 years old, well, my dad and I used to watch Star Trek and stuff like that all the time. They would take me to the planetarium and I always was fascinated by space and how big everything is. And they had a show called Child of the Universe, which, and it was so inspiring to me because it not only talked about the solar system and the universe, but it made me think about my, it made us think about our place in the universe. I went to the person who was operating the machine at that planetarium and I asked, how do you get to do what you do for a living? And during our conversation, he eventually invited me to be an apprentice. I turned 15, they offered me a position to be a console operator on the weekends. So I did that for about seven years and I came to UF and I decided I changed my major from aerospace engineering to astronomy and physics so that I could ultimately direct a planetarium. And in 2009, on October 15th, I, at 15 years ago, I started working as the director here. 